Now you might remember, it wasn't so long ago that we did a segment here with Laura Russell, mm -hmm. who is the author of Brassicas, and it was on kale though. Yes. So we're gonna do some more today, but before we get into that, let's talk again about the value of this family of, of really vegetables, what they, how good they are for us. Right, well these vegetables in particular, brassicas, uh, you might also know it as the cabbage family, mm -hmm. or maybe you've heard it called um, cruciferous vegetables. They are extraordinarily healthy, just packed with vitamins, minerals, uh, phytonutrients and um, the greens also have things you know have fiber yeah. and protein so it really covers a lot of bases and you know t for most Americans it's a lot of those things are stuff that we've really never grasped onto well right. except for the cauliflower and the broccoli but right. this recipe you're gonna show us on cauliflower Mostly, I think we, we steam it. That's what we do. And right. <laughs> there's other things we can do that make it delicious. There's things uh, that make cauliflower taste a lot better than, you know, boiling or steaming. I'm going to start this off uh, very simply by roasting it. And I've just cut these into really fairly small florets, just a bite-sized floret. And I'm just going to toss it with a little bit of olive oil. Most of that landed in one spot. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll toss it together and a little bit of kosher salt. And I put this in a, in a hot oven anywhere from 425 to um, 450 and it's pretty quick it takes about about 10 to 12 minutes and we're really looking for these florets to brown okay. and caramelize um, so we'll go ahead and pop those in the oven yep let's do it all right okay Laura so while those are roasting in the oven this looks like a almost like a green salsa to me that's pretty much what it is. So um, this is called Salsa Verde, uh -huh. and it's really a very, very flavorful, uh, potent sauce. It's great for cauliflower because cauliflower is kind of a neutral flavor. Yes. So this really uh, will perk up the roasted cauliflower. Um, I already have in here some chopped parsley okay. and uh, some green olives, a little bit of mustard, capers, olive oil, and then I'm just gonna finish chopping up some chives for that. Um, and the great thing about this is if you're serving it as a side dish, you could make a really, really simple entree, you know, grilled salmon or chicken thighs, and the sauce is really gonna taste great on, on everything a, on, on the, the plate. Oh, nice. So it's a, it's a great way to, to cheat and then simplify your <laughs> entree. You know, as long as you have one powerful flavor on the plate, you probably don't need more. Well, so. I think it's probably about time that the roasted cauliflower is done, so let's get that out, shall great. we? Great, let's check. Okay, Laura, now I have to say that this has come out of the oven. Yes. And it's beautiful just like that. Thank so, you, uh, yeah. How long again was it in there? So this was in the oven for about 12 minutes. Okay. Just very hot. And what you're looking to do is just get this caramelization. And that makes it taste good. That's okay. flavor. And then the, the salsa that we were making, the, the verde salsa yes. verde, that, that goes on? Exactly. So I just take this sauce and, and just sort of you know, dollop it around Beautiful. a little bit. You could toss it together, but I think the presentation yeah. is, is nice just like this. And then, like I said, you could, you know, you can go ahead and use the sauce on other parts of the meal. If you have some chicken or fish, it tastes great on that as well. Now, I also see a couple other dishes here. Mm -hmm. Tell me about them. Um, so this, I call this Mexican pickled vegetables. Uh, the brassica here is also cauliflower, and it's really easy to put together. You just uh, bring some water, rice vinegar, garlic, and oregano up to a boil. And then I simmer the cauliflower and carrots just for five minutes nice. and let it sit in the refrigerator for about 24 hours. Again, very, so very easy. Very easy. It needs to marinate, but hands on time is five minutes. And what is this last dish? This is one of my favorites. Um, so this is a broccoli stock and kohlrabi slaw. So the vegetable right here is, is literally that stem yeah. from the broccoli. A lot of people don't like that, and it's my favorite part of the broccoli. Um, I just peel the outer stem and then slice it up. You can also use, um, this is a mandolin. This is just a, a plastic one um, I picked up for about $20. And if you really want a, a quick cheat for the broccoli slaw, uh, they actually sell in the produce oh. section 
pre-cut like this. Well, it doesn't get easier than that. It doesn't does get it? <laughs> easier than that. And literally, then you can just mix up the dressing, toss it with the dressing and cilantro, and, and it's done. Well, Laura, thank you so much for these great recipe ideas. Sure. And you know, if you're saying to yourself, but I mm. want to do that. I want to try mm -hmm. this at my own home. You can get this wonderful book, Brassica. It is out now. You can go to your local bookstores or Amazon.com and start making some great Brassica meals for your own family. Thanks again, Laura. Thank you.